the breaking news now. Soldiers reportedly barricade the fashionless Abuja residence. Wow. So what could be the problem uh, here? Because uh, um, I have not seen uh, Fashala's name uh, in that uh, Tinubu's ministerial list, even though Fashala has been trying to support him. So why will soldiers go to his Abuja residence to barricade it? The, there could be something uh, fishing out here. So let's see, soldiers of the Nigerian army have reportedly barricaded the entrance to the residence of one of the President Tinubu's henchmen, former transport minister Babatunde Raji Fashola in Abuja. A Twitter user uh, uh, released the news okay, on his Twitter handle on Saturday. Nigerian soldiers has barricaded the entrance to Babatunde Raji Fashola in Abuja. Visitors are not allowed in or out of the residence and according to the report visitors are not allowed in and out of the residence and that is exactly what was uh, reported the report comes barely minutes after a grand plot by tinubu led or progressive congress apc to compromise the judges sitting in the presidential election petition court hearing referred to as the tribunal according to mr hondei four apc stalwarts assigned with the task of compromising the tribunal include Fashola, Ibrahim Masari, the senior special assistant on political affairs to Tinubu and the director general of the Department of State Services, DSS, Mr. Yusuf Bichi and Mr. Nyeso Mwike, a ministerial nominee and immediate past governor of River State. Can you imagine? Oh, okay. So it means that the soldiers went to barricade his house uh, basically to provide that security and uh, and uh, uh, how do I put it that security that is needed for them to do the dirty job how are they going to do the dirty job uh, is the tribunal holding in their houses or how are they going to so they're going to meet together to determine how to thwart the outcome of the tribunal election they really have to be careful because already Nigerians have seen how that uh, tribunal is going and Nigerians are waiting to hear the judgment even the judges in that tribunal uh, are, are already in a in a dilemma because they know the truth they've seen the truth and they know what the judgment should be even though they are under pressure to influence that judgment for it to become something else that actually will not work for them hmm. presently speculations are rife as to the motive behind the barricade. It's obvious now, but I'm sure they will be having a kind of indoor meeting on how that and how they are going to cause the problem, especially with the Governor Mwike being there because that is his ministry. Okay. Why some suggest it may be house arrest, others believe it is a ruse to distract watchful Nigerians from the antics of the ruling party. Okay. Others Meanwhile, claim that Fashola's residence is the venue of the meeting between Tinubu's men and the presidential election petition court judges. Exactly. More details of this will soon emerge. So I am sure if these people are being employed by Tinubu and APC to thwart the outcome of the tribunal uh, 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 proceedings, it means that they use Fashola's house as a uh, as a, a meeting point okay to discuss how they were going to do it but i think the tribunal judges also need to be very careful here because already uh, nigerians uh, have seen what is going to be if they still want nigeria to continue as one then they should be very very careful and do the needful by declaring or passing the right judgment it's, if you know you cannot declare article or ob winner of election because the results are not reliable then you should declare a rerun. And that's exactly what Nigerians are waiting for. Declare a rerun. Now, um, some people are making some comments here. That old man, Tinubu, wants this country to burn, to burn because of his inordinate ambition. But he should know that when the country starts burning, he might just be the first casualty enough is enough. 
Exactly. Exactly. Whatever he's doing, he has thwarted the election and then used Mahmoud Yakubu. Now he wants to thwart the outcome of the tribunal. He, he should he should get ready for the outcome of that. Because if they go and do something that is not normal with that tribunal proceeding, then it means that they don't want Nigeria to stand again. Somebody here is saying it's fake news. Well, it is no smoke without fire. Before this observation was made, it means that something must be going on. Somebody said, you people can have peace of mind. What does that mean? The case is just uh, wars of time. Okay, Obi cannot use 2023 election to be president. He should come next time. If Tinubu is removed, Atiku is the next. That is the reason Obi didn't uh, didn't come second. The judgment is four one. Can you imagine? So that is that is that the antics. It's not going to work. Let's see how it goes. Let the tribunal declare it wrong, and let's see who will win it. Somebody says, stop this nonsense, fake news. Nigerians know your antics very well now. Hmm, what is fake news here? Hmm? Blood will flow if it if it is what I am thinking. <laughs> yes. If 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 that is what Tinubu wants to do, he should be ready because Nigerians are ready for him as well. We'll be boys crying foul, losers for life. Can you imagine? Because you think Tinubu won the election and be in, in the Tinubu's government is on the 40 foundation and definitely will not go well. Okay, somebody say, Oluwali, APC have no filling station. You will suffer and die. Exactly. Everybody will suffer because APC does not have uh, a special filling station for its people. Everybody is suffering in the same economy. Let Wiki fool himself. Final address has, has been adopted. Okay, he, can change, he can't change it. Yeah. All right, so please go face the war Tinubu has brought to your backyard. Okay, I go clear now soon. Wagner machineries are already in Niger waiting for Tinubu order for military action. Exactly, <laughs> yeah. So, the war this so before you talk, get ready for the war in Niger because definitely if Tinubu send Nigerian soldiers to that Niger, be sure that the Nigerian soldiers will not come back. A lot will die there, there will be a lot of casualty there, and some will escape Africa from there into Europe. Exactly, and that is what is going to happen. Somebody says, is he or she a reporter, rather a mischievous video writer on assignment to heat up the political atmosphere for their selfish ambition? Is that not what APC is doing? APC came out boldly that they, are, they have employed their own uh, uh, media rats or internet rats that are also causing propaganda yeah they're also causing propaganda so whether they like it or not apc started the propaganda and they should be ready for it somebody saying tunubu cannot win anything just buy 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 exactly he buys everything with money he believes he can buy anything with money he can't win anything and it is obvious that he can't win anything somebody saying but he has won 2023 election free and fair who who, who is deceiving who? Eh? Who told you he won the election free and fair? With, the, with which result? A result that even INEC cannot defend, even in the tribunal. Okay? The exhibits that they got from RF Potter, INEC could not defend it in tribunal. So what is the, what do we mean? The result is not reliable and cannot be. Okay? So that is what is coming, that it looks like Tinubu's house is used by the machineries that uh, uh, sorry, uh, Fashala's house is used by the machineries that Tinubu has employed to thwart the outcome of the tribunal proceedings, and that is why the soldiers went and barricaded that place to make sure nobody goes in or nobody comes out until they are done with their meeting. And that's that has been leaked, and they can't do anything about it. Nigerians are watching and seeing what APC is planning to do with the tribunal outcome. Everybody is expecting a rerun because you cannot use the current result or information in the RF portal to declare any winner because it's unreliable, it's inadequate, and it's deficient. So thank you for listening, and let's have your comment.